All right, welcome back to Three Rivers Fishing Adventures. This is the world's smallest 12 volt, 100 amp battery from Lee Time. I'm about to build a battery box for it. Stay tuned. All right, so I was recently contacted from a representative at Lee Time. Uh, Lee Time is a manufacturer of uh, lots of different products, uh, mostly uh, lithium batteries. You probably see them all over the place, uh, a big presence on social media or whatnot. Uh, they asked if I would have any use for this 12-volt uh, extra mini 100-amp battery. And I uh, thinking to myself, I was like, well, I already have uh, some you know, lithium batteries hooked up to my trolling motor uh, and I have a 24 volt system. However, I do use a lot of 12 volt power in the, in the boat, you know, using my UV lights, uh, charging uh, batteries for phones, uh, tablets, laptops, whatever. I have a lot of people in the boat and we're always looking for power. So I have had a smaller battery box in the boat. The issue is the, the UV lights that I use uh, they, they draw a lot of power, you know, we're talking five to seven amps of power. And sometimes I have these running six, seven hours a night when we're, uh, fishing later into the fall when there's not as much sun. So, so this hundred amp battery is going to mostly power those lights and with six or seven amp, uh, power that it draws, you know, we're looking at, uh, you know, 15 to 20 hours of runtime on this one battery. And so it'll be a lot less charging, uh, a lot more convenient, and a lot more emergency power with this uh, battery here. So for sure, the greatest selling point of this battery is the size. You know, we're talking 100 amp hour battery right here. And the dimensions, you know, 9 inches is the biggest dimension, which is 9 inches tall. 9 by 5 by about 8. And uh, so smaller than a 9 inch cube. And uh, it's, it's, you know, not, not that heavy, you know. 19 pounds roughly you can pick it up with one hand um, when you look at it you think oh i wonder if this is going to be lighter it's no it's about 19 pounds and uh you know it's it's definitely manageable for sure much more manageable than a group 24 or a group 31 12 volt battery um you know those are you know 50 60 pounds so uh the form factor of this is the greatest part of this and what i'm going to do is i picked up this just this ammo crate from fleet farm and it's going to fit right inside of here. We're going to wire up some things uh, and just make it a nice little convenient mobile on-the-go power supply station. So uh, let's get to that. Okay, so rather than show you all the actual wiring of everything, I'm just going to show you. I, I went out and did this and uh, basically got the box done. I'll show you what I did uh, rather than show you all the wiring connections because I know if I do that, Someone will say I did it wrong, and I probably did do it wrong. I did it the way I know, and it's worked uh, great for me in the past with these battery builds. So um, I'll just show you what I did, and rather than show you the actual connections and everything, or, you know, splicing wires and everything, it's just, uh, you can find all that on YouTube if you need to, and uh, find your own method of how you want to do that. So, yeah, this is the, uh, the battery box here. Like I said, this came from Fleet Farm. This is a... 15 by 8 by 10, um, 10, 10667 box. I bought this 4 gang outlet plate that comes with all these. Um, I wired that in there so it has a switch right here. Powers all this on. And then on this side I wired in a SAE connection um, for charging, my charging on there. Also my uh, UV lights will plug into here as well too. So that's a little separate. So that's separate and this is separate. And uh, so this box also has a, a lift off, you know, a little thing here. And I, I just put some uh, charging cords, uh, some extra fuses, some, you know, electrical tape, um, mostly just stuff I might need. Uh, just the charging cords in there is really nice though. So so that's the box. I'll put links to all this down in the description uh, for this uh, outlet panel and also this SAE connector. What I really like about this uh, particular uh, four gang plate here is it comes with all the speed connectors and the pigtails. They're all wired, you know, just hook them all together. That comes with a little diagram. Hook them all together, run them to power, run them to ground. And you're good to go. All you have to do is uh, drill four holes for these outlets to go through. Um, then you just feed them through. There's a nut on the back side, and then you put the plate on. And 
uh, just covers it up nicely. So really easy. Uh, I literally did this in, you know, less than a half hour, probably building this whole box. So very convenient, very easy. And again, I'll put the links in the description if you want to know which ones I use. Uh, one thing I will also mention, I don't know if anybody has used these uh, Wago connectors, uh, but I highly recommend using them, especially for your splices. Um, oops. This is the uh, Wago connector. And basically they just... Uh, they lift up, they're spring-loaded. You lift those up. Let's see here, there you go. Get that to focus, maybe not. Uh, you lift it up, put the wires in there, snap close them, and your splice is made. Uh, no tape, no solder, no heat shrink. Uh, there are a little, a little more money, but I think they're well worth it. They're waterproof and very easy, convenient. So yeah, these, uh, this particular one is, uh, Peppy products. So I recommend those for sure. All right, so I have this whole box wired up. One thing I did have to do, and I am going to mention, it's a very tight fit. I wanted the, you know, the smallest possible box I could get this battery into. And this one that I found, you might be able to find one that's a little bit bigger that fits perfect. Uh, but this one wasn't quite perfect. So what I had to do is the battery is a little taller. I don't know if I have enough room to show you this, but basically it's right to the top of this box when it's open. So what I had to do, this, this flip up here th thing here, inside of here, and I'll uh, show you close-ups of this too, but I just, I just drilled two small holes for the battery post just to clear this uh, little container here, and then I'll put the little rubber uh, protectors on it. And the other thing, nice thing about that is with it in there, that'll keep that battery from moving around a little bit too, because there is just a little bit of space from left to right in there. Um, and this will close up nicely then, nice watertight seal, and uh, I think it'll work fine. It's uh, not a perfect fit, but it's gonna work for what I need it for and to keep that form factor small. Uh, so let's get this battery installed in here. I'll get the leads connected and we'll uh, power up a few devices. Here. Okay, we got the battery all in there, all hooked up, ready to go. Uh, we just have to flip on our switch here, just so the light comes on. And what I have here is uh, basically is four USB ports, a uh, cigarette lighter plug, uh, and then the switch. So it does come with a voltmeter on this four panel outlet, um, but I don't need that. And you know why? Because there's Bluetooth built in right to this battery. So I can go on my app, I can check the voltage whenever I want, and it's a lot more accurate than these digital gauges. So I did take another uh, USB and I put it in place of there. And what's nice about the one I put in here, the USB that I put in here, it's a, a 65 watt USB-C super fast charger. So yeah, that's, that's what it looks like there. And then again, I got my uh, SAE outlet out there. But yeah, nice, nice form factor, not super heavy. And I'll just put this in my boat whenever I go fishing, and it'll be ready to go. The supercharger for my phone, I'll get that plugged in here. And, uh, and whatever that says, 23 minutes till full, it's at 80%. But uh, 65 watt, usually if I get down to, you know, 20, 30%, I plug this in, and 40 minutes, it's fully charged. So, um, yeah, supercharger is the way to go. Okay, so speaking of that Bluetooth option, which is very nice, it's really simple. There's a QR code on the top of the battery. When you get your battery, take your phone, scan the QR code. It downloads the app, asks you to register, um, and, you know, it takes five minutes. And that app, so I can pull up my phone right now, and uh, I'll take some screenshots for this as well. So the app shows up on your phone as lead time. Just open the app. Uh, the battery device comes up. There's the uh, battery. Uh, updates with the, with the SOC, which is the status of charge. This one says 98%. And there's the, uh, the screen there. Right now there's nothing being drawn, no current. Uh, 
What's nice about a 100 amp battery is the percentages always work, you know, as a whole number. So at 98 amp hour capacity, 98%, get down to 50%, you got 50 amp hours. So not a lot of math involved there. But again, I don't need this voltmeter because it's showing 13.4 volts currently. Um, let's plug something in and, for example, see. I'll charge my, I'll put, put my phone back in here on this supercharger. We'll plug our phone in. And as soon as I plug the phone in, it's now saying 24.6 24 watts. I know you probably can't see that. I'll put a screenshot up. 24.6 watts, 1.8 amps. Um, and it shows discharging. You can check other things on here too, uh, balance of your cells, um, the cell status, and also the uh, the BMS status as well. It shows the serial number, it shows the temperature of the battery, um, which if you're not doing anything, it's a good way just to, to use as ambient temperature. You can just bring it up here and say, oh, you're sitting outside and your box is next to you. And you're like, oh, it's you know 77 degrees out. Um, it shows the number of times you've recharged this, and by the way, uh, the specs on this, you can recharge this thing depending on the, the, the state of the battery when you charge it. The lower you drain it, the less charges you get, but anywhere from 4,000 to 15,000. So uh, this, this thing's going to last a long time depending on how you use it, but you know, at least 4,000 recharges, and that's if you're drawing it all the way down you know, to nothing every time you recharge it. So. Um, gives a firmware version. That's about it for that. And just simple Bluetooth connection. I, don't, I haven't tested the distance of this, how far away you have to be in order to get the signal. But So the other reason I was really interested in this particular battery, uh, not just because of the small form factor, but the available power, the 100 amp hours of power at 12 volts will be a great emergency uh, use. So what, all you have to do, and I picked up this as well as I picked up this this pure sign inverter, this particular one is 500 watts. Uh, the higher you go up, the bigger appliance you can run, but the more power it's gonna take and the higher, you know, if you go up to, uh, you know, 1000 watt or 2500 watt, now you're talking about a lot bigger wires and uh, some dangers of maybe starting fires and stuff. So I just stuck with a 500 watt. With a 500 watt, you can run a, sur a surprisingly number of appliances if you just do a Google search, a lot of, uh, you know, small fridges and freezers. Uh, you can run some um, smaller appliances, toaster, uh, blender, whatever, um, depending on the style of each one. But you can find ones that run at 500 watts or less. And you can definitely run, you know, in, in the terms of if you have a power outage, you can run your uh, router, modem, uh, laptop, uh, TVs, uh, fans. I'll show you. I actually... So say the power went out right now, you know, it's 90 degrees out right now. Uh, the air conditioning's going to go out. So I could just hook up my fan to this inverter and at least I'd be able to cool down a little bit. So um, I'll do that real quick here and I'll show you how I do that. So another nice thing about having these little battery posts come through the top of this box, so I can just flip up this little container here and I can have access to my posts inside of here. So I can just take off these little rubber protective pieces. I can clamp right on to these power posts. And now my inverter should be ready here. Okay, you heard the inverter probably fire up there, a little fan turns on. And now you can plug uh, essentially most any uh, 120 volt plug into here, just your standard outlet plug. So this particular inverter I bought, which looks to be a fifthless, I think it is. Again, I'll put a, a link in the uh, description for this well. It's, it has a, a little digital display, tells you your available voltage and the wattage you're pulling as well too. So I'll go ahead and I'll plug this fan in here and we should have power. Let's check it out. There we go. Power's out, AC's out. I got some fan, <laughs> staying cool.
and currently on high speed this is drawing 70 watts so you can I mean like I said this is a 500 watt inverter so uh, we still got plenty of power there so one thing I would be interested to see right now is I'll is I'll bring up the the Bluetooth app now and see what that says see how much current I'm drawing from here okay so the lead time battery is going into the inverter then into the household fan and currently it says it's drawing 7 amps at 103 watts so it's kind of bouncing between 80 and 100 95 yeah I would say it's bouncing between 95 and 100 and that's the alternating current so at 7 amps you know, it would run this fan on high for roughly, you know, 15 hours, roughly, 12 to 15 hours probably. Uh, again, you can run anything else as well. So, uh, But a good way to monitor it through this app, you can find out how much power you're drawing. So there you go. That's the, uh, the new battery and battery box from Lee Time. Uh, this is particular battery is the Extra Mini 100 amp. 12 volt battery and again I'll put a link in the description uh, this is going to be great to have in the boat uh, for all my power needs out in the boat and also just like I showed as as an emergency source of power and uh, small form factor you can throw it in your truck throw it in your boat throw it in your camper whatever um, I'm fairly certain you could also uh, wire in an outlet here for a solar charger put it out in the sun and you have basically unlimited resources of power based on the amount of sunlight so i may do that in the future i may put an outlet get a, a solar charger for it and uh, yeah you're going to have power all the time at that rate so um, any questions let me know about this particular battery um, i'll put some links in the description and i'm ready to get this out in the boat and get the uv lights running and catch some catfish we'll be out there really soon thanks again for watching